Thank you, Mr. Toastmaster. Hello, Toastmasters and guests. How many of you are perfect? <laughs> I believe none of us are. If we are not perfect, that means we all need forgiveness. Please look at your neighbor and say, My friend, please forgive me. Let us be free. Please forgive me. There's something I haven't done. I will give you the definition of forgiveness. Who can and cannot forgive and the purpose of forgiveness? To forgive somebody, there must be a problem with that person. I had my cousins. They came from Haiti. They are living with their mom. Last week, one of them had problems with her mom, and she said something she should not say. Her mom said she must leave her house. Suddenly I came, I was talking to my cousin, and she told me she was really sorry because she said that. She said something to her mom and she, she should not say. After I saw like she was really sorry about what she did, I came to talk to her mom. I said, Mommy, she said, don't tell me anything. She must leave my house. I said, okay. I'm not saying anything wrong. Can you please give me one minute? She said, go ahead. I said, Mommy. Who do you think is perfect? She said, none of us. But that doesn't mean she must disrespect me. I said, no, she should not. Because that's your daughter. She, she must respect you. That's why I'm talking to you. She said, okay. I said, why she disrespect you? She just looked at me just like that. I said, she disrespect you because she needs Self-control. That's her problem. That can happen. I don't have that problem. I may have self-control. You may have self-control. We have all the problems. Why? People can forgive us. And you cannot forgive her. I cannot forgive her because of her problem. At the end of the conversation, she agreed. She must forgive her. And my cousin came and asked her for forgiveness. Now they are living free. But I've learned from that story when you are weak, you cannot forgive. And Undo Walter said, To forgive is to set a prisoner free. In this cover, that prisoner was you. When she forgave her, she was free. She went her house. She went shopping with her. Now she's living free. And also, when you weak, like I said, when you weak, you cannot forgive. Another author said, her name is Mahatma Gandhi. She said. The weak can never forgive because forgiveness is the attribute of strong. If you chose to forgive because you are smart, you want to live free and longer. You understand the same way people can pose problems to you is the same way you can do the, you can pose problems to, to others. If Bus does something wrong to me, I must understand the same way he does that to me, I can't do something else to build. 
if Bill can forgive me, why not? Why I would not forgive Bill? This is the power of forgiveness. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> life is not that complicated. I do something to you, call me and tell me, you know what? I will close. You did something I did not like. This is what you did. And don't do that. Don't do that anymore. And let us live together. This is 2009. Today, make the decision to live free. In French and Creole, 2009 means 2009. 9 also means new. That's why most of Haitian, most of Haitian, they say this is 2009. They will be a new person. They will try to be a new person, try to have new personalities. It's the same for us today. Try to have new personality so you can live longer, stronger, and free. When you go home today, I don't know who did something wrong to you. But think about it. You are not perfect. That was that person's weakness because he did that he or she that did that to you. Forgive her. Forgive her. Because you also you do something or you did something to somebody else. And that person forgive. The same way that person did that to you, do that to your neighbor. Do that to your spouse. Your children. Ladies and gentlemen, I have learned that when you have an argument with your spouse, the first one who says, I'm sorry because I hurt your feelings, please forgive me, is the winner. Be a winner. 